Okay, welcome uh, and good afternoon. Thank you for taking time out of your day to view this video. And what we're going to show you is how to perform what's called an embedded packet capture in Cisco IOS uh, in, on a Cisco router. Just like it sounds, it allows you to perform a packet capture on the router itself. Um, so this is uh, beneficial to a network engineer or cybersecurity engineer uh, in the sense that they can they can collect traffic and review it um, on a different uh, machine in Wireshark. So we're going to walk you through that. Um, the first thing we do want to tell you is that we are using a lab router. It's a very old platform. It's the Cisco 3800 ISR router. Um, I believe that is both end of life and end of uh, support. Um, its replacement, which is the 3900 series, I believe that's also end of life, end of sale. Do not know if that's end of support, um, but the uh, router that they're selling now is the Cisco 4000 ISR. So again, we're running a 3800, which is an old platform, but we're running a relatively new version of code, and uh, that new version of code does contain the embedded packet capture feature that we want to um, use today. So uh, let's really quick just show you what we're working with. So we'll do a show version. And there is our Cisco 3825. And if we come up here, we show that we're running version 1514M5. So I believe it's anything that is greater than 12.420T will have the embedded packet capture feature. Anything earlier than, than that uh, will, will not have it. So you want to be running a later version of code. M most likely you are. You, uh, you aren't running an old, <laughs> an old platform like we are in our lab. Um, and you're probably running a newer platform and a, and a relatively recent version of code. So you should be good to go. Okay, so let's jump in and let's get started. Uh, I'll try to go through this as uh, slow as I possibly can. One thing we do want to let you know of is the fact that we uh, disabled the zone-based firewall that we had enabled on this router. And we did that because we're going to FTP a packet capture from the router into our workstation and we didn't want to run into any issues um, doing that. So we just, we just, for the sake of this video, removed our... Um, our zone-based firewall. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing we want to do uh, for our embedded packet capture is to create the buffer. And we do that with the following command sequence. And it's monitor capture buffer And then we're going to name that capture buffer. And in this, this video, we're going to just name it something simple, all capital letters, capture buffer. And we're going to give it a size of four megs. So that we're going to collect four megs of traffic and a max element size of 1,518. That is the packet size. And then we have options. We can either run a circular buffer or a linear buffer. A circular buffer is going to start collecting at byte zero and will continue to run until it reaches four megs. When it reaches the four megs, it's going to wrap around and start at zero again. And it'll do this continually until you stop the actual embedded packet capture from running. In the case of a linear buffer, what it will do is it still gives you that four megs of space, but once it reaches four megs, it just stops. It stops collecting traffic and uh, you'll be able to offload that uh, four megs of traffic into a PCAP file and then bring it over and, and view it in your, uh, in your Wireshark on your desktop. We're going to do that uh, as part of this procedure today, but here's the initial command. You're setting up your, your buffer or your capture buffer and we're going to set this up as linear. Um, we're not going to let it run uh, until it fills up uh, the 4 meg buffer. We're actually going to stop it as we're not, uh, we're not collecting that much traffic. So there is the capture buffer command. And the next command is going to be to set up our capture point. So it's monitor capture point and IP Ceph, and we're going to name it capture point, again, for the sake of simplicity. 
and we're going to specify the interface. We're going to do VLAN 1, and we have options here. We can capture on the ingress or the egress of that interface or both. We're going to capture on both for the sake of the video. Great. Now we need to associate the capture buffer with the capture point. And the way we do that is monitor capture point associate and we name our capture point and then we name our capture buffer boom okay so we've associated our capture buffer with our capture point and we are now ready to start our capture so let's let's get that underway so the command sequence is monitor capture point start and then you want to name the capture point boom so the capture is running and it's filling that buffer that formag buffer in the meantime uh, before we start the capture we can run a few commands so uh, here's a command uh, to view the uh, capture point information and uh, we don't feel this is uh, all that useful, um, but it's a way to go back and just to make sure you did what you thought you did and you did it correctly. So show monitor capture point all, and it shows us our capture buffer that's associated with the capture point, and it shows the, the actual command we put in. So it is good if you want to go back and just make sure that you did what you, uh, what you intended to do. Okay. So we can also do show monitor capture buffer, then the name of the capture buffer and the word parameters. Now this is a, a more useful command because it shows us our buffer, our buffer size, which is four meg. It shows the max element size, which is 1,518 bytes and the number of packets that we've collected so far. And then down here, it also shows us the commands that we put in to get to this point. Um, so let's just prove that it is actually collecting. 1067, 1153, 1304, 1327, 1361. So it is, it is collecting the packets and stuffing it in that, uh, in that buffer. Okay, so there's another command which we can try, which we, again, do not feel is very useful, um, but we will show it to you. Show monitor, capture, buffer, and then the name of the capture buffer, and the word dump. So we're going to dump the contents of the buffer to our screen. There's the first three packets. We can cycle down through. Useful? No. It's really not useful but it does prove that you actually were uh, capturing traffic so let's go ahead and, and stop our our capture so we want to do monitor capture point stop capture point boom so we've just stopped it and we can prove that so we have 2240 packets and we're not collecting anymore all right, so what would we do next? Now we want to take the contents of the capture buffer and we want to put that into a file and call it a PCAP file. Um, and then we're going to take the, the capture.pcap file that we're going to create and we're going to move that via FTP over to this workstation so we can then view it in Wireshark. So let's go ahead and monitor capture buffer, capture, buffer, export, and we're going to export that to flat to the flash capture.pcap. Takes a, takes a second or two, depending on how much traffic you have in the buffer, and then it creates the capture file. So let's do a show flash, and we'll get a visual on that. There's our capture.pcap file. Now, what we did ahead of time was 
put in our credentials in uh, the config of uh, the iOS config, and uh, we put in our username, password, and the fact that the FTP server is a passive uh, FTP server. Um, and we did that so we didn't have to put our username and password in this in this command. So you want to use the copy command and you want to copy flash capture.pcap to FTP. And what is the location? We come back to our workstation. And 192.164.1.4, 192.168.1.4, and we want to use that name, and boom, it wrote it over to our FTP server. So now, let's look at our FTP server, and we'll do an ls-l. And there is the file, capture.pcap, beautiful. It was a success, all right. So uh, now what we wanna do is pull up Wireshark, which we already have ready. And we're gonna do file, open. And you wanna pull up that, that capture.pcap file. Boom, there we go. So uh, we have some DNS traffic, we have some web traffic, TLS version 1.2. Um, there's not going to be anything interesting in here for you to actually look at. Um, there's some TLS version 1.3 traffic. We have a number of browser windows open on this workstation. Um, so you're going to see a, a mixture of 1.3 and 1.2. But bravo to those uh, servers that are running 1.3 um, because that's where, uh, that's where we should be. Um, so there you have it. There is embedded packet capture and then there's how to offload that, get it to your workstation and open it in Wireshark. Thanks for viewing our video and uh, we hope you have a great day. Thank you.